Josh got got thrown on a line there with some some pretty talented players. Uh, is that was was that your expectation coming into camp to be playing with sort of uh, biggest name some of the biggest names on this team? Uh, yeah, you know what, Wardle Tree talked to me when we were about to sign and everything. You know what, their plans didn't say who I was playing with, but they they wanted me an offensive role, and those are two guys who uh, definitely know how to play that style. So um, you know what, that's exciting. Exciting to see it, exciting to, to be a part of that. So uh, we've played a couple scrims and uh, started camp together. So, you know, it's been going good so far and uh, sh should be an exciting time. Hey, Josh, is it is the, you know, we're going to ask you a lot about your knee. Is that old news now to you? Like, have you got to a point where that's, you put that behind you? Definitely. Um, there was a little mishap uh, about four months in, which, uh, you know, it was a big scare. And then, Ever since then, I, it actually made it feel better, and uh, I haven't had any issues. Um, knee strong. Uh, the test scores and everything were through the roof, so, uh, you know, it doesn't bother me now anymore, and uh, that was the, the biggest relief for me uh, coming into this camp. Well, if you don't mind me asking, what was the scare? Was this a training incident or just while you're rehabbing? Or? Yeah, just another training incident around the knee, and uh, – <clears throat> Just scared me a little bit. Obviously, uh, I went through four months of rehab there, just trying to build it up. So I took a little break again, and then uh, once once it, the scare was gone, uh, you know what? The the girth and the, the the quad came back, and the strength is all there now. So it was I would say about a two week scare, and uh, <clears throat> once that settled, it was uh, smooth sailing, and you know what? I haven't looked back. And was it safe to say that? There, you, there was fear at, at times that your career might be over? I mean, I think it goes through everyone's head, especially with a, a broken patella, um, especially with screws in it. Uh, you know, I never really knew what to expect. Um, <clears throat> it was an emergency surgery, so kind of just went in there, had to do it. Uh, the pain was awful for the first month, and then, you know, what the slow rehab process, everything plays through your head. Um, you know what, I got to awesome family, two sons now that, uh, you know, I, I help motivate myself and, and push myself to get back to where uh, I want to be. Hey, Josh, uh, we just heard from Coach Ward that he thought it was really important to give some of the, the new players on the team opportunity to skate with some of the high level talent that has been here for a while. It's a short camp and Ward could have easily come out here and said that he's going to go with the lines that have worked in the past. So as a player, what does it mean to you to have that opportunity? And how do you feel that you can compliment guys like Kuchuk and like home? Uh, you know what? Uh, what I take from it is be ready. Um, they're two really skilled players that have shown they can uh, produce in this league. So, you know, I don't want to miss that opportunity. Um, I think uh, the first couple of days that we've uh, had some chemistry already, so that feels good. But I just uh, – I'm a player who's always worked hard and, and tried to show, show what I've got no matter what line I play with. So just being able to play with those guys to start, uh, you know what, that's exciting. And I just don't want to miss that opportunity. I guess just to follow up on, on the line there, Josh, I mean, is it, uh, is it a nice change to be on a line with, with Matthew instead of playing against him? Definitely. You know, he's, he's the type of player that likes to instigate and, and get in your face. So um He's fun to watch out there. You know, he's he's got a lot of skill too, which I don't say it surprised me, but you know what? He he's still a big guy out there who uh who does some damage around the corners and in front of the net. And I kinda like that style of play. So uh hopefully we can get things going and uh sort of just muck it up in the corners together. And you know what, Lindy's a great playmaker, but he's he's also shown that he scores. So you know what the Chemistry looks all right so far, and uh, hopefully we can take it into the season. Hi, Josh. Um, as someone who's been watching you going all the way back to your days in Sudbury, well, where do you think your game has grown the most over the years? I'd say that the two-way game. Um, I've learned to uh, take care of your zone first. Obviously, playing in Toronto with Babcock, he's uh, – he preaches that. So, you know what? I'm not playing a lot there, but I, I took a lot in. I uh, learned from a lot of good players. Um, you play some good defense, offense will come. So, 
you know, as long as I take care of my, uh, my position in our D zone, uh, usually we'll have a, a pretty good opportunity uh, coming back the other way. And uh, I think my skating as well. Um, I'd say in junior, I wasn't much of a skater and I've worked with a bunch of, bunch of power skating coaches uh, this off season, I worked with Glenn Carnegie in Vancouver, who, who I feel like took it to another level. <clears throat> and uh, you know what? I feel great going into this camp. It's even with the injury and everything, it's, it's the best I've felt so far. So uh, I'm just putting my head down and getting to work and uh, <clears throat> hopefully uh, it all clicks.